Hello XDC family and welcome back to Crypto Ready. If you want to be ready for crypto then you are in the right place. Today I have got many huge updates for the XDC community. We're going to be talking about XDC, Wadspay, Globians. We'll watch a short clip from R3 and we will touch upon the bank run and cover our stablecoin US Plus. Now guys, today's video is going to be jam packed so I hope you will watch to the end as today's video will be fire as usual. Looking at tweet from X's in my future patience. You become more motivated, passionate and resilient when you hold coins that matter. Everyone who holds utility should have no problem holding. The only thing that you should be concerned about is going out into the world, grinding and getting some more. So guys, DCAing in at these ridiculously low prices is a no-brainer guys. Buying utility coins is going to give you that generational wealth in the future. Now you're going to need as much as possible, right? I'm planning on buying as much as I can until the prices hit a certain point, right? And when the time is right, when the prices finally rise, guys, because crypto is going to rise, utility is going to have that bull run. Then I am going to be DCAing out of crypto slowly as I DCA it in. So guys, have a plan. Have a plan in place to buy, have a plan in place to sell. That's the way you will make the most money, guys. So please have diamond hands and a little bit more patience. Let's move on to the next bit. Looking at a tweet from Darren Lewis Jr. XDC Network. Now, guys, this quote is amazing. Just listen to this. The XDC Network has been explicitly architected and developed for enterprise grade finance with a focus on trade finance, financial messaging and direct access to R3's quarter platform at its core. Yet the network also has plenty of utility for the retail community. So as you see in there guys, direct access to R3's quarter platform. What more do we need? Is there anything more we need guys? R3 connects 95% or more of the banks in the world right now, right? And that is really, you're talking about all the money there. Because DDCC is also connected to the R3 network. Quadrillions of dollars, guys. You probably heard that word before. Quadrillions is pretty much all the money in the world. And this is just the beginning, guys. So far, we know that XDC is attacking trade finance, which is a trillion dollar market. And Wired and Pell, we are attacking the value movement proposition. And guys, all together, you're talking about trillions and trillions of dollars. And that is just the beginning. I think XDC is going to get more and more developers moving to XDC as a developer because ETH, guys, is a no-brainer. You know ETH doesn't work. And it's just a matter of time, guys, where we're going to see ETH developers shift to XDC. And this is just absolutely, guys, just the beginning. We are definitely still early. At 2 to 3 cents, guys. It's an amazing DCAing in opportunity. So grind as much as you can, go out there, work the hours, and get some more if you can afford to do so, guys. It's never financial advice, you should do your own research, but the proof and the facts are right in front of you. So please pay attention and get your future sorted out. Let's move on to the next bit. Looking at tweet from Spartan. WTK is one of my 100x minimum for the next bull run. Things are building strongly and moving forward quickly. A while since I've not been that impressed by such a great team at Wadspay. And looking at this screen grab guys, it's got some key points in here that you should listen to. Because it says here clearly Wadspay was formed by X Mastercard principles and aims to facilitate payments in Southeast Asia. The Wads terminals will be available in duty-free shops and for small merchants who will seamlessly be able to transact with their cryptocurrencies. Consumers will be rewarded with WTK tokens as they contribute information. Invaluable for merchants. Now guys, we know already, right? They've got partnerships in Saudi Arabia with POS terminals, working in Dubai duty-free, and that is just absolutely the beginning for WTK as well, guys. Don't forget, WTK is a gem. It is working with governments, with merchants, and if it's been started by ex principal MasterCard people, guys, MasterCard has got merchants in the millions across the world. MasterCard is accepted widely as well as Visa. So, guys, it's just a matter of time where you're going to see Wadspay called Wads 
in terminals everywhere. Just as you see MasterCard on the windows of these shops around the world right now that they accept MasterCard, you're going to see WADS being accepted as well. And it's just a matter of time, guys. And at the price that WADS pays at right now under one cent, it is still worth your time and attention, guys. So DCA in if you can, guys. Or if you have already got a bag of WTK, just hold on strong and get ready because I think with the crisis we are going through in the world right now with the bank runs with the cbdc's with interest rates the ripple case i think it's all coming together iso is kicking off on the 20th the eu is looking to pilot dlt this month as well guys so guys it's gonna be huge for crypto because crypto is the fourth industrial revolution guys so i hope you're paying attention let's move on to the next bit looking at a tweet from hans crypto gbex today just removed one zero now guys as you can see the screen we're looking at gbex usdt as you can see we've had a quite a huge green candle going in the opposite direction and we lost one zero and guys that is just the beginning once again guys you are early in gbex you are gonna have to hold gbex for a number of years because the supply is very huge right now it is getting burned on a weekly basis it's gonna be diminished in the next few years right and when that happens, guys, imagine what the value of GBEX is going to be because GBEX is the token that Globinance uses for its exchange. And as BNB is used for Binance, this is how GBEX is going to be used for Globinance. It's a no-brainer. And looking at what Globinance is trying to do, Globinance wants to be that bank and exchange all under one roof. It's getting all the attention around the world. It's working to be regulated as a bank. And it's got many approvals already, guys, as a regulator to work as a bank in many jurisdictions. Looking at how our traditional banks are failing right now, they're getting bailed out left, right, everywhere. It is not worth putting your money in a traditional bank. So we're gonna be talking about the bank run and what you should be doing later in this video. But guys, Globiance is definitely gonna be one of them. It's gonna be standing when everything is set and done. So guys, GBEX, at the prices at guys, it's really ridiculous right now. For a few dollars, you could buy a few million GBEX right now. Even though some people are doubting this opportunity in GBEX, guys, it's a long-term huddle, right? So nothing's going to happen overnight. It's not going to be a flip the switch moment for GBEX. I mean, we've had meme coins go ridiculously high, all right? We can compare meme coins to GBEX, but we don't need to do that. We've got utility with GBEX. Utility is going to win the day, guys. So I hope you're ready. Let's move on to the next bit. Looking at we from Jim Bob. Hybrid XDC network is EVM compatible so all eth developers can migrate to xdc in 20 minutes public eth fork new block confirmed every two seconds and it has a 2000 plus transactions per second banks keep private data private on private side of hybrid fork of jpm quorum chain and that is the solution now guys it's clear xdc is the chosen one when you compare XDC to Ethereum, it doesn't make sense to me why Ethereum has all this limelight. But guys, it has been marketed in that way by the media giants because they invested a lot of money into it. They've been bribed and all that stuff, guys. It's a lot of corruption involved in that area, so I don't really want to go deeper into that. But you guys might already be aware that there's a lot of corruption involved in the Ethereum side. But guys, when everything is said and done, when the banks realize what they've done, XDC is going to win, guys. It's the greenest, the fastest, the best blockchain out there. It beats Ethereum in every way. And with 2.0 coming out, guys, in the next few weeks, possibly in days, it's gonna throw everything else out of the water, guys. XDC is gonna stand out like a king, all right? So be ready, guys, because XDC is gonna take over the new world by storm. Let's move on to the next bit. Looking at tweet from R3. How can a DLT and blockchain-based project be deployed? R3's Bruno talks to BFI Capital about the criticality of a network as a way to ensure success so guys it's only a 20 second clip which we're gonna watch quickly together and then we shall have a quick discussion before we move on to the next part we don't want people to build trust because we don't want to people to collude and agree on a certain way of going to market but with blockchain and industry-wide system of record technologies we want to do exactly that we want competitors to agree on using a set of standards so it's really fuzzy i mean it's really kind of um, hard for people to wrap their heads around this problem so as you heard there guys, this tells me they want to agree on a level playing field, which is the end result, right? That's going to be the end goal. Everybody has to be on that level playing field. And with all the stuff happening in the world right now, guys, 
crisis is everywhere, banks going down, exchanges going down. I think it's coming closer to the point where they are going to need that level playing field for value movement, for trade movement. They're going to be adopting blockchain technology. Utility cryptos are going to be an integral part of this new system. Guys, it's coming, right? Because R3 is telling you here right now that they want them to work on a set of standards. Competitors need to work together on the same level of standards and it's going to come, guys. That's the only way forward. So blockchain is the solution and utility coins like XTC are going to win the day. So please pay attention to R3 as well because they are bringing more than 95% of the banks, guys. And we are the only settlement token. Let's move on to the next bit. So looking at a tweet from Andre Frassinini. Not a trusted stablecoin. A verifiable stablecoin. A deeper look at Fluent's financial banking relationships during an interview with R3. Thanks for making it clear, Brad Yolgold, the growth of your strategic partnership with Impel. Now, guys, we already know Impel built on the XTC network. Fluent is bringing the US Plus stablecoin, which is being federated by the banks and it's for the banks. So, guys, what does that tell you? It is one of the best stablecoins out there. And having a look at what's happening to the stablecoins right now, USDC, USDT, guys, they're all gonna go. You're gonna get these stablecoins, these big boys. US Plus is gonna be one of them that the governments are gonna be using. And I don't know, guys, about their CBDC system, but maybe stablecoins are gonna be helping us exchange our crypto to fiat and fiat to crypto. That's the way it's gonna be. You're gonna have that bridge. And I think US Plus definitely fits the bill, guys. And it's way better than usdt for example tether which have always hidden their reserves they've never shown any real paperwork and us plus is clearly verifiable 24 7 guys you can see the records live at any time you want so guys we will see how this goes but this is huge news for the xtc network because impel fluent are gonna be bringing a huge demand curve to the xdc ecosystem so we will keep an eye on us plus as the other stable coins go down i think us plus is gonna rise we will see what happens let's move on to the next bit looking at tweet from michael crypto xdc bank crisis hammers fed hike expectations now guys we're gonna quickly talk about the bank run and explain to you once again what you should be doing right now so as you guys know svb bank went bust on friday okay and another bank called signature bank also collapsed abruptly on the weekend and this has raised questions as to other similar local banks in the us could also experience liquidity issues and may not be able to pay their depositors back unless they also start selling their probably loss making portfolios so the likes of first republic bank pacwest bank corp and signature bank suffered heavy losses on friday many big banks across europe pulled indices down on Friday as well, even though they are not expected to have similar liquidity issues as the Silicon Valley Bank. Now, guys, this is what the media is telling you. But do you believe them? I absolutely don't. My money is not in the bank anymore. I've taken as much as I can out. I live in the UK, guys. I think it's going to go cross borders. It is most likely going to affect a bank near you. So I would suggest get your money out of the bank. Keep it in gold, silver or utility cryptos like XTC, the ones we cover on this channel. But guys, I don't know, if you want to be into that struggle, I remember 2008, guys, not very clearly because I was very young then, um, when one of the banks collapsed in the UK and the public were queuing down the road. The line was pretty endless trying to get their money out. And what they were told, guys, the bank doesn't have any money. So do you want to go through that headache? Maybe not, guys. Try to find another way. Try to work with your financial advisor. Try to work with your accountant. Try to find a way out of this. Because right now, if we're in this crisis, maybe your money is safer with you at home. Maybe the old school way of putting your money under the mattress is probably safer than the banks right now. Okay, let's carry on with this. And talking about the Fed, guys, I think the Fed does need to be shut down. We need to give this printing power back to the Treasury. And I think that's what's going to happen. We're going to have a revamp because as this new financial system becomes live on the blockchain, I think things have to change with this printing mechanism that they have at the moment because them printing money out of thin air guys and we can't have that going on for any longer so the fed might forget about a 50 basis point hike this month or may not hike at all guys either way we are gonna crash we are gonna have the biggest crash humanity has ever seen right even if the fed hikes or doesn't hike inflation or no inflation 
we are gonna kill this economy one way or another guys it's coming it's coming very much faster than we thought banks are failing very rapidly and it's gonna be across borders very soon europe uk they are no different guys it's gonna happen everywhere so i suggest guys what you should be doing try to get your money out put in a safe place until this is over with once the storm is over then consider your options but ideally guys in this current situation maybe have some gold maybe hold some silver and utility cryptos like xrp xlm xdc just to name a few guys because there are a few others as well that have a lot of utility so guys i hope you're paying attention guys i don't want you to lose your hard-earned cash please keep your crypto offline as well because keeping them offline is going to give you that security because if you don't hold the keys guys it is definitely not your crypto so guys have a good day and thank you for watching today so that is it for today guys if you enjoyed the video you know what to do please hit that subscribe button please like this video and share this video with family and friends and let them know that crypto ready is the place for them to be if they want to be ready for crypto i shall see you on another video tomorrow take care